Well, hello, Alvin. How are you? Hello, Carla. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Uh, welcome. We'll begin here shortly. To Santa Ana <laughs> from La Union. All right. All right. I see you're still driving, right? All right. Let me see. So that's a long drive from La Union to Santa Ana, Alvin. Ooh. That's a pretty heavy ride. I've driven that those those miles and it's wow at night too pretty pretty heavy uh, hello Blanca <laughs> yeah teacher very tired yeah I understand right yeah hello wow. teacher all right welcome let me see welcome Francisco welcome Neftali thank you teacher good evening good evening welcome See, I'm going to all right. <clears throat> All right, class, let me share screen. All right, can you read, please, the presentation, please, Carla? Carla? Hello? Mm, yes, I am here. Uh, okay, you need three. Yes. Okay. You need three? Warehouse, fundamental, vocabulary, activity. All right, continue, please. Tuesday, November 23rd, uh -huh. Intermediate for class number 16. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Let me see. All right, class. So we're going to focus today on Unit 3, which is the topic is warehouse, right? And we're going to talk about the fundamentals about warehouse. Really, it's warehousing, right? But the topic, the title on the on the on the module is warehouse, and we're also going to focus on vocabulary 
and we're going to do a group activity also okay let me see and of course right we're already on tuesday we just have nine more classes and then we are finished with the module and your next module should be intermediate five right intermediate five let me see how many modules are there blanca blanca how many how many modules what yes there are in this in intermediate yes there is six i think there are there are six there are six very good very good excellent okay <laughs> very good thank okay. you blanca that is correct remember you have six and then you go to what is called advanced right but there are six so you're almost there y'all are almost there let me see i'm going to take the what time is about that time already let me stop share and i'm going to take the first attendance all right the first attendance let me see abigail abigail present okay thank you blanca present okay thank you brenda brenda okay not here carlos carlos okay we're here let's see doris present okay thank you edwin present okay thank you Francisco? Present teacher. All right, thank you. Let me see. Freddy's? Freddy's? Okay, not here. Freddy sent a message. Okay, Glendy, uh, Glenda? Glenda? Okay, not here. Iris? Iris? Okay, not here. Jackie? Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? Present teacher. All right, thank you. All right, let me see. Jennifer? I'm here, I'm here teacher. Oh, <coughs> Sorry. Thank you. Teacher, I haven't arrived Excuse at me? home yet. I okay. haven't arrived to home yet. Okay. But may I stay here while, right? Okay, no problem. Uh, stay connected, as okay? As I, I get home, I will, I will notify, notify. Okay, let me know. Okay, Jennifer, I will, uh, I will uh, take this into consideration, and I will exclude you. We do an activity, okay? Just stay connected, okay? Thank you. Okay, for thank you. Let me. All right, no problem. Okay. Right. Thank you so much, teacher. No problem. You have my permission. Oh, you're good. No problem. Let me see. Thank you, teacher. All right. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. All right. Thank you. Carla. Listen. Okay. Thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, not here. Neftali. 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 Right? <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, Rolando. Present. All right. Let me see. Telma. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Janari. Janari. Okay, not here. And I know Alvin, right? I know you're driving Alvin present. All right, thank you for sending the message. All right, teacher. no problem. Yes? Good evening, I am here. 
Ah, uh, hello, Iris. Hi, sorry for, I'm late. No problem, as long as you're here right now, I will put you present, okay? Let me go and change. Thanks. All right, no problem. You came right on time, porque ya estaba en el último. All right, Iris, let me change this to present. No problem. All right, we're finished with the attendance. Let's continue. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, 17. All right, perfect. Okay, class. Okay, so with it, for today, we are going to begin unit three and it's dealing with warehouse, right? Anything dealing with warehousing, right? Con bodega, embodagamiento, however you want to call it, is dealing with where a product is set. And we're talking about a place here, okay? This is a little bit different than logistics. This is where the products are stored. Donde se guarda el producto. Donde se embodega el producto. Those types of things, right? How to manage a warehouse. Como manejar una bodega, right? Remember, it's, not, it's easy just to say, si, ahí ponen en la esquina, right? No, not, not, in, in, not in, the, in the proper or in the correct way. Does a person say, yeah, I just put it there. I, I must have it up. No, that's not the way it works, right? In a very organized, disciplined, uh, professional business, eso no pasa, right? Those things do not happen. Because what happens if we begin that culture, we begin that, um, that ideology of, yeah, just put it there, just put it there. What happens at the end? No, ahí te lo dejé, se perdió, yeah, right? And then you start trying to figure out who took the product, right? No, aquí está, it was here yesterday, we didn't log it in, right? You need to have log sheets, you need to have um, accountability, those types of things that go hand to hand when we talk about warehouse, right? You need to have the proper management skills to operate a warehouse. Remember that in a warehouse, things that come in must also go out, right? So it's in and out, in and out, in and out. There's a constant movement when we're talking about a warehouse. So you have to keep control, control, of the product, you have to control it. If you do not have control of the product, you don't. You lose profit. You can lose clients, and you can also lose your business, right? You can also lose your business. How many have you ever met someone? I could see alguna vez alguien, or you know of someone or a company that, por no manejar bien el producto de inventario, perdieron miles y miles de dólares. Y no saben cómo, right? They don't know how, right? Because they lost control. They couldn't say, well, entraron 100, pero nomás vendimos 50, ya no tengo producto. What happened, right? Uh, and people are like, I don't know, right? It disappeared. What happened? That's because of lack of professionalism, lack of order, lack of discipline, and lack of control. And I'm not talking about personal control. I'm talking about control of the product control of the warehouse so you have to keep you have to keep a open mind and open sometimes an open eye right because anyone can take something but if you keep control como balance like a balance in and out in and out then you have total control of your product right nobody can tell you ah se perdieron ayer 10, 10 piezas right no Aquí están. They're here, right? We just have to find them, right? Sometimes uh, people use, what is a way, can someone give me an example of, what is a way to keep control of a product? What do you think? See, it, for example, if I say, okay, I'm going to order 5,000 Samsung, 5,000 iPhones, uh, 500 laptops, 
400 cameras, um, 300 mouses, uh, headphones, uh, what, USBs, 5,000 USBs, 32 giga, uh, 64 giga. How do I keep control of that? Can someone give me an, an idea? ¿Cómo yo un control de todo eso? What would be the best way? How will you do it? For example, teacher, by Cardex. By what? Cardex. Okay. Okay. Can you give us more? Can you elaborate a little bit more, Thelma? Can you explain to us a little bit? For some people here might be like saying, well, what is that? Um, I know that the, the, the person that is responsible the, of the inventory, uh, they make a card that is a papers, uh, that uh, that they have uh, how many product specific okay right okay anything else so um uh, the this person have uh have check daily how many product the uh, are in the in the warehouse all right okay so it's it's like a a system right a format some type of a yes it's a type what, to what, control yes what what Delma's talking about is this si no me equivoco Esto, right? K yeah. K A R D E X, right? Si no estoy incorrecto aquí, Delma, corríjame, por favor. Yes, yes. It's correct? All right. Yes, it's right. Okay, so the, I, I believe that this is what Delma's talking about, and she just confirmed that this is correct. So we're talking about Cardex. K. K A R K A R D E X, right? So it's a way to keep your inventory if you have a large quantity of products right it's like similar to excel or something right como utilizar excel right it's like a, like a format but it's specifically for inventory very good Thelma. good example thank you for your participation all right what else class what else Thelma gave a, a excellent example what else do you think in El Salvador, do we use Cardex for everything? Do we? Yes. Yes? Okay. Does everyone use Cardex? Todo who's on Cardex? Mm, in the building construction, yes. Okay, in construction, yes. All right, thank you. All right, anyone else? What about in regular stores? Is usted va a la tiendita y tiene Cardex? Or, or do they write it in pen, in pen and paper? ¿Ha mirado usted alguna empresa que usa nomás el lápiz y el cuaderno? Yes, in little stores or... Okay. Only, only take notes. Take notes, right? That's it, right? El tiempo de los ochentas y noventas, right? 2000, right? Just do everything by hand, right? But now when we use technology, you can use Cardex or other, you can use Excel also, right? Or other formats that are available with technology, right? But we still see here, some people still use the pen and paper, right? Pen and paper, and they just flip the note each, right? They write down how much, how many, how much product came in and how much product is going out. All right, now, um. What do you think? What will you use? ¿Qué usaron ustedes? What will you use? Will you use something else? Will you yeah. hire? Yes. Okay, Rolando. In my, in my, in my show, okay. uh, the warehouse have a, a qualification according to the, to the, 
to the machine. Okay. Yeah, and some sometimes to the well, normally uh, they have a a software. They use a software. Yeah, in this case is Oracle. We use Oracle. Okay, Oracle. Yeah, uh, that uh, they, you uh, you always check the quantities of of the element that the warehouse has. All right. Yeah, and, and autom automatic, uh, he make uh, a list according to the quantities. Okay, so, and if I'm not mistaken, you're talking about this, right, Orlando, si no me equivoco? Yeah, Oracle. Oracle, right? O-R-A-C-L-E. Yeah, right? this software, this software uh, make, uh, makes a code, makes a code a codification for each uh, product that the warehouse has. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is the, the way that we use to have a control uh, to, the, to the, the elements. Okay, so it, cre it creates like a serial number for each product, right? Yeah, yes. Right, so it identifies each product according to the serial number. Right, kind of yeah. like the when you go to Econo parts or different areas like that, they use code system, right? Un código. Sometimes it's not really the name of the product, but the code of that product, right? That they that's how they store it. That's how they do the inventory. Very good. Yes, this is another way, right? Another way to use software or technology to enhance your warehouse efficiency, right? Efficiency and uh, time consuming, right? Because you're not looking, hey, on the time, uh, you're not looking around, and the warehouse is big. And if you're not, like I mentioned, order, uh, um, like I mentioned um, earlier, if you don't have a an order, then you will get lost in the inventory process. Thank you, Rolando. Very good example. So we just we just received another another technological advance advancement for warehousing. Anyone else that would like to share something? Teacher. Yes. Hey, I have a question. The cardex, cardex, sorry, is similar to the packing list or the shipping manifest. Excuse me. The cardex is like to a packing list or shipping manifest. A shipping manifest. manifest. Yes. Well, it really, I believe that Cardex is used similar to Oracle. It identifies the product with serial codes, with a number system, all right? Okay. All right, that, that's I... pretty much it. Now, you can probably modify it. You can probably customize the, the platform to benefit your, your, your company. Right. Oh. I'm pretty sure you can do, you can add that to it, Francisco. I'm pretty sure you can, right? I'm pretty sure you can, but this is like specific. The specifics is just to keep track, track of, uh, of the product. For example, if, if I order 400, right? And I already sold 200 or 100, maybe you can set these platforms to give you like an alert that the product ya está en bajo cantidades. And you can set yes. it that way also, right? And then it, okay. it automatically alerts you to make a new order, right? Make a new okay. order. And in some cases, if I'm not mistaken, there are some platforms que automáticamente está programada a hacer el pedido cuando llega a cierto número, right? So um, I'm not too much familiar. I'm going to be honest. I know a little bit about warehouse, but like the most technical part I wouldn't like be able to go in there and work it but I've I've seen how some of them work and what Rolando just mentioned the Oracle is like a platform that automatically does it for you right you don't have to do nothing right you just have to manually put the things that you want but Francisco I'm pretty sure that these platforms or maybe more they have their capabilities also okay thank you Richard. all right no problem thank you for asking all right now 
Having said that, and I, on my behalf, on my experience, like I've seen here, I've seen different systems in the United States, but for the most part, some of these are, are pretty much efficient, right? Cardex, Oracle, I know a lot of people use them, but there are also other, other platforms or other softwares that people use. Some people use uh, even a, a scanner, right? Han visto un scanner como los que usan en, los, en Super Selectos, right? That they, they, tiene la pistolita, tit, tit, con el láser, tit, 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 right? They also have those that a person um, a person uses and you see those um, when you go to the big supermarkets right and you see the person que anda con esa pistolita a veces está revisando los precios si están actualizados or something the same kind of technology for inventory also right they use those little guns with a little laser and they can scan products or or a box right una caja Right, they just scan it. They can say, okay, esta caja contiene 200, pam, right? And they just keep uh, working the inventory. Now, that is what we're going to focus on today, warehousing. Now, I wanted to just get your opinions, maybe get some input, right? Thank you for those of you that are participating. Anyone else that would like to add something before we continue? Anyone else? Anything that you would like to share with the class? If not, then we will continue. Okay. Let me erase this. No. All right. Teacher, I want to read it. Okay, Abigail, yeah, I was about to ask for a volunteer. Okay, go ahead. Can you read the first paragraph, please? This is extra. This yeah. is not in your book. Warehousing allows for timely delivery and optimized distribution, leading to increased labor productivity and greater customer satisfaction. It also helps reduce errors and damage in the order fulfillment process. Plus, it prevents your goods from getting lost or stolen during handling. During handling, right? All right. Now, the... Continue, please. Okay. It also plays a key part in ensuring that your company meets its productivity goals. A warehouse management system as efficiency and consistency and quality control to the process by helping you move goods through your warehouse at maximum speed improving every stage of fulfillment process very good excellent so these are just i added this to the presentation this is not in your book like i mentioned earlier but it's something that i wanted i wanted to add i wanted you to understand maybe it give you more information in regards to warehousing and everything that pertains to it now remember we're talking about efficiency Efficiencia, consistency, right? Not like one day you're doing a good job and then tomorrow you're like, ah, eh, taking your time, right? No, you have to be consistent when you're working in warehouse and quality control, right? El control de calidad. So the process by helping you move goods from your warehouse at a maximum speed. Remember that I mentioned earlier, in and out, in and out, right? Así como sale el producto, así también se llena de nuevo, right? So you keep in and out, constant movement, right? I'm pretty sure, Rolando, where you work, right? Se termina el periódico y ya para el otro día está empezando el otro, right? No es que se queda ahí y mañana no vamos a hacer, right? No, it's a continued process. That's why it says consistency, consistencia, every day, 
every day, right? Ronaldo, no hay ningún día que pasa, ¿verdad? No puede decir mañana sí, mañana no, right? right? Yeah, it's, 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 for, uh, it's for the day. Exactly, right? It's para hoy, right? Yes, yeah. right? So, the efficiency, right? The efficiency is very important. Quality control, right? Remember that when we store things, you have to have quality control, right? Rolando, el control de, cual, de calidad, right? You can't put like the crates of newspapers en un, en un lado donde está goteando el agua, right? You can't, right? Ahí alguien va a salir, pero bien, right? Bien sancionado ahí, ahí, ahí poniendo en la esquina, pero está goteando, again, right? You can't, right? You can't. That's what I mean by quality control. Quality control. And then you, you're moving your, your goods from one warehouse at a maximum speed, right? Eh, cuando llegan los camiones, uh, when the trucks come in, Rolando, to pick up or deliver the newspaper. Okay, no es esperar cuatro horas para que montar algo, ¿verdad que no? Right? You <laughs> tell us, Rolando. Give it, you have, tell us, right? We have time for, for that process. Okay. Because if if we lose time, the the route uh, uh, is not on time. Don't arrive. On, didn't arrive in time. Exactly yeah. right. For example, it's a lot really of, important. It's important. Process. Yes, it is right. For example, you can't go sell a a, a newspaper ya a las a las diez de la mañana cuando ya todos están en el trabajo, right? You have to get them when the traffic, right? Van movimiento para el trabajo. Those are the, like the perfect. I'm giving it in my opinion. Right? I don't know if I'm correct or incorrect, right? You probably tell me, right? Maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, Rolando. But hay algunos tiempos que son, o sea, esta hora tiene que ser, right? It has to be a certain time because that is the movement of the people, right? That is the movement of the people, right? Now, you're always going to sell something, but it's important to know the time, right? It's for example, I'm going to give you an example. If you're going to sell tacos, is there the taco y hamburguesa? Are you going to start uh, a las dos de la tarde empezar? No, right? You might sell some, para que venda algunos, right? Pero el tiempo ya se le fue, right? Once, ya tiene que empezar, right? 11, 12, because the movement, todos salen a almorzar a las 12, right? The majority, 12, 30, 1 o'clock. So you want to make the best. That's what, is, that's what it means by efficiency. Efficiency. Now, I hope you take this in, this in consideration because, ¿por qué? Because when we do the activity, you're going to give me your own opinions and this will be a good example. No es que lo van a copiar y lo van a decir, right? But give you a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of help, okay? Into understanding about warehouse. So if you paid attention and you wrote some of these things down, or maybe you take a screenshot, it will help you understand the last activity that we have for today. All right, let's continue. All right, we are going to, now that I gave you a little introduction, you gave me your opinions, we talked about it for a few minutes. Now let's focus on page 25, All right, page, page 25. If we look at page 25, you notice that it starts with, let me get a volunteer to read. Any volunteers? Algún voluntario? Thank you, Vegail, for volunteering on the first one. It's me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Warehouse, unit three. I'll, I will be able to describe the fundamentals of warehouse management. Uh, number one, let's start. What will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reach its maximum capacity? Reaches. Reaches its maximum capacity. Capacity. Uh, capacity. Uh, okay. Uh, a very 
this company reaches a maximum capacity. How will avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? All right. So now, those are questions that Rolando just asked, right? Yeah, continue. Well, um, let's, no. uh, let's start with that, right? Let's start with those questions that you just asked, right? What would happen if the warehouse of a very busy company like, like, uh, like Rolando, right? I'm pretty sure it's very busy, right? Siempre está movimiento, busy, right? Reaches it, its maximum capacity. Si llega a una capacidad, but mainly, um, let me ask you this, Rolando, do you have a warehouse there? Allí mismo donde se, se hace el papel? Yes. All yes. right. And but, but it's a it's 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 not it's a little warehouse. Okay. All right. Because so, uh, normally we we produce uh no uh an specific uh a, spe a specific quantity of product. We try to don't have a Okay, can you turn on you turn off your microphone? Okay. All right. Our our warehouse is is, is a little it's not mm -hmm. big because uh, we try to produce uh, a specific quantity of product. All right. We try to don't have a, a desperdicio rush. All right. Uh, you're talking about yeah. And normally the, the product that we have in the warehouse is the newspaper that we can sell. We can't, we haven't we, sold. We Am haven't I? sold. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but, but this, this uh, product, uh, we have a, a, another person that try, buy is this this product and normally we don't have a, a product in our warehouse okay now what would happen if it reaches the maximum capacity digamos que se sobre sobrecarga it over it over stocks the warehouse what would happen uh, okay. i think that that if it is happening in my company. We have uh, perdidas. Losses. Losses. All right. Because, because we don't, we, we can, we, we have to stop the production. Okay. Yeah. Because we don't have a space for the new products. All right. Yeah. Very this, good. Very good. Very it could good. be happen if we, if we, if we have this problem. Okay, yes, right. Thank you, Rolando. That is one of the key elements. Ese era un elemento clave que quería escuchar. Yes, right. The losses, las pérdidas. Let me, let me give you an example. Another example, right. And uh, Rolando said it perfectly, right. The losses. If I'm going to give you an example of let me see, ¿dónde he visto yo pérdida? Yes. All right. Cars. All right. And we're talking about sales. Ventas de carros, right? Sales. And let's talk about cars, right? Now, if, if I own a lot, yo soy dueño de un lot, un lote, Right, a lot. In this case, it's a car sales lot. All right. In este caso, it's a car sales lot. And I only sell new cars. You know, my vendo carros nuevecitos. All right. Only brand new cars. Right. So, can you stand ahorita? What year are we on? Somebody tell me. A year. Yes. 2021. Very good, excellent, right? So next year is 
2022. Exactly, right? Now, it's November, right? Estamos ahorita en November, right? Yes, it's my season. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday, holidays, last Christmas is coming. People are spending their money. Y yo aún no tengo los 2022 en mi, en mi lote. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó aquí? Right? So it's like, so I'm getting called. Hey, Henry, right? Rolando is like, hey, Henry. Yeah, I'm buying a brand new car for my wife for Christmas. Y quiero el 2022 en nuevecito que acaba de salir. Y yo, ¿qué le voy a decir a Rolando? What am I going to tell Rolando? Hey, fíjate que nomás 2022. I only have 2021, right? And he's going to ask me, hey, I see other dealers. Ya entraron los nuevos carros. <laughs> right? And Henry, you're my best friend, right? That's why I'm coming to you. Y yo, what am I going to do? Hey, ¿sabes de qué? I, get a, I gather everybody, right? And not just Orlando. I have people calling, people looking at my website, my Facebook, my Instagram, all Twitter and everything, right? Making an order, right? Hey, quiero reservar este carro. I want to reserve the 2022 Toyota, whatever, right? And, or the Nissan or the Hummer or, or Ford, right? Ford or a Mustang or whatever, right? And I don't have 2022, but why? Right? And the customer's probably going to ask me, bueno, porque Henry no tiene los nuevos y siempre cada año, right? Every year he has a new car. Because my lot is full of 2021. Something that Rolando mentioned, right? If you don't, if you have the product there, es perdida. It's lost. Why? Because Customers are going to want the new cars, right? En Estados Unidos así es. El carro nuevo que sale es como el nuevo teléfono. Ay, que no lo vi y todo, right? They run to it, right? Trust me, right? Créanme, right? And uh, un medio choquecito eh, que se lo lleven, right? And over here, aquí, aquí paran en los países de Latinoamérica, right? So, it's a total loss. Why? Because I'm full of inventory. So what do I have to do? I have to sell these cars cheaper. Tengo que bajar el precio aún más to try to get rid of them. And this is what happens when you are maximum capacity. You lose money, just like Rolando mentioned, right? So you have to make room for the new product. And in order for you to make room for a new product, you have to get rid of your old product, right? And that's what... Um, Rolando was mentioning. Now, how would, uh, how would you avoid, aquí dice overcrowding, lo que acabo de mencionar ahorita, like I just mentioned right now, I am full. My inventory is full from old product. What do you think I should do? ¿Qué estrategia usted, what strategies do you recommend I do to sell my 2021 cars and have space for the 2022 cars? Well, uh, offer a discount. Okay, offer discount. Yeah, sell the the product with uh with the production price. Yeah. All right. The idea is not have a big quantity of loss. Exactly uh, right. And 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 uh, it's, it's stay the warehouse empty. Yeah. Okay. I will do this. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm, uh, I'm asking you because in the end, you're going to do this activity, all right? So I'm getting, you, I'm getting you ready, right? I'm stimulating your brains to understand the fundamentals of warehouse. Que muchos dicen, sí, no más es tomar control de las cosas. No, no, it's not just about that, right? I think Rolando, you know better than, ever, than a lot of us here, right? It's not just about contar un, uh, one product and product, right? It's about learning how to manage your storage capacity, right? Very good, Rolando. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Yes? It's common that the supermarket offer the discount of some product when the, when the day is, is to 
is too close to fast. Mm, you vencer, how do you say vencer? Fire. Cuando, cuando la fecha está cerca de, de que el producto oh, llegue yeah. a su fecha límite. de fire. So you're talking about the ex, expiration date. Ex, expiration right. date, for example, for the yogurt. Yes. Sometimes in some place, the supermarket put a offer, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you're correct. 20% to discount in the product. However, the the date is... Expiration date. Yes. All right. But I think that they prefer to, to have a little loss of money. Then to lose everything, right? Yes. Oh, so. Exactly, exactly. You are totally correct, right? So it's like, um, it's better, just like you say, that is totally correct, right? Because I've experienced that, and I think I have shared that with you in the class, right? The, the expiration date on some products, right? When they are about to expire, right? right? To expire, they are quick to try to sell the product, right? Because if not, it will be 100% complete loss. But if they sell it at a discount, at least, I think what they're doing is selling, lo están vendiendo, Por el mismo precio que lo compraron. So there won't be like a loss or if anything, a little bit of loss, but not a total loss, right? Very good, Francisco. Excellent, right? Um, I remember, I'm going to share something with you. Let me see. Mm. Give, me, give me one second. Se lo voy a poner aquí en la pantalla. Give me one second, All right? Let me see. Okay. Can you see this? Ven este producto. Can you see it? Yes. All right. So this product, right? It's like, let me see. I can turn that the background. All right, but you, you can probably see it right here, right? What is it? ¿Qué es lo que es? It's like a mouse, no? Or, or something for... For splash, no? No, close. What do you think it is? Air freshener? Yes, Air, very good, right? Yeah. It's an air fresher. Ven aquí lo que es la tapera que va. It goes on the. As you can see, I have. I have. No, no más tengo uno, tengo varios. Right? So, you take this part, quita esta parte, y tiene atrás como una glue que se pega en la pared. And then you flip it, levanta la tapadera, and then you put a little canister aquí adentro. And then when you press it, lo aprieta, cuando se baja la lid, you press it, sale el spray. Right? So it gives like a little mist. Right? But, tenía una defectividad. Que no se cierra la tapadera, o sea, hasta abajo. Queda como un poquito levantadita. Pero uno en la casa, que, right? It's like, who cares, right? They were like, um, a dollar something each. But, 
por esa defectividad, they stopped selling them. Los pararon de vender. And it, this was at Walmart, right? And while I was buying, llegó el gerente con una bolsa de estos y los puso así. And he put it right there. And ya había casi, eh, ya estaba pagando, right? I was already paying. And then he asked, mire, tenemos estos si los quiere comprar a cinco centavos. At five cents. And I said, five cents? Y yo dije, cinco centavos. No, but I was like, and I go, a yeah. big offer. Yeah, a big offer. So I said, ¿sabe de qué? <laughs> Deme la bolsa. <laughs> <laughs> Because eh, los he comprado antes. I bought them before, like a Dollar City or other stores. They're like two. Pero lo que vale más es esto, el, el canister. El, el potito este que echa el gas. Right? So I bought the whole thing. I bought the whole thing, right? Diferentes aromas. So I bought the whole bag. Y dije, yo dame la bolsa. Give me the bag, right? So I still have them. This was like, so ya me quedan aquí. <laughs> si pasan por aquí, les regalo uno. <laughs> so I have like one in the front door. Like when people come in in the front of the house. I have one in each bathroom. I have two bathrooms. So I put one in each bathroom. I put one in my room. Ah, they're everywhere, right? So for five cents. Right? So what happened? Because the product was a little defective, they couldn't keep it. Pero para no perder total, I just gave it for five cents, right? Algo, right? I bought the bag, right? So that's just another example of what Francisco just talked about. Pero lo que Francisco mencionó fue en comida, right? In food, right? Where expiration date. But you can also find um, products that can be a little defective right nothing major if they work but um they rather not have a hundred percent loss right now let me ask you this question how will you avoid the next one that uh, rolando mentioned how will you avoid overcrowding in a warehouse right and yeah practically lo acaban de responder right uh, lower prices try to do different strategies what else ¿Qué más? ¿Alguien más? ¿Anyone else with something else? ¿Something new, an experience, maybe, that you would like to share? ¿Anyone? Nefta ¿Neftali? You always have something to say. Come on, Neftali, give us something, right? Well, teacher, mm -hmm. I think that if you have a warehouse overcrowded, you have to get other other <laughs> warehouse <laughs> in this case. Ah, very yeah. good, Telma. Yes, right. That is another element, right? Very good, Telma. Continue, continue. Well, I, I think that you have many many cars 2021 uh, you have the you have you have to other warehouse uh expand denominate, denominate um warehouse finished products or or um what 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 let's Uh, what is the name? The warehouse. The product finished it, but obsolete. It's obsolete, right? Obsolete. It's ob obsolete, right? So those are. But long it's uh, it's it's totally totally. Uh, what lost? Okay, all right. But. All right, very good, very, that, those are very good examples, Thelma. And that is, that is totally 100% correct, right? So Thelma's like, hey, she's trying to get, uh, promote a solution, right? So Thelma's like, hey, if you already have too many cars for 2021 and you need more space, why don't you just go get another lot, right? And have two lots and then, 
and maybe have 2021 here, 2022 here, and maybe 2023 the following year, right? Very good, very good uh, analysis, Thelma. Very good, excellent, well done. Anyone else? Anyone else? All right, let's continue. Yeah, perfect, right? Yeah, I love your opinions. Let me see. Let me clear. All right. Let's continue. All right, those, those were just critical things. Neftali, since you didn't give me a response, you will read, please. <laughs> Rose and Matt are discussing storage problems they are facing at the warehouse where they hold their shipments. Read and practice the conversation. All right, thank you. All right, um, you will be Matt, Neftali, and I want Rose. Who wants to be Rose? I need a, a woman that wants to be Rose. Who wants to be Rose? Me, teacher. Okay, Blanca, you and Neftali. Go ahead, Blanca. Go ahead, Rose. Okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged, and they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Mm -hmm. Then we have another scenario here, right? So here, we remember that many, many people just say, ah, viene producto, but we don't know exactly what the product is, right? It could be a very delicate product that cannot be stored at certain temperatures, that cannot just be stored in any area, that it needs a lot of care, all right? So here's Rose and Matt talking about those dilemmas that they are facing, right, with the warehouse. So they're talking about, hey, we need to alternate a warehouse for temporary use, right? Temporary. Now, look at where it says, uh, Blanca, can you continue, please? Pair word, number three. Okay. Discuss the answers to the questions below. What happened to Matt's current warehouse? What could happen to the treatment if it is not carefully stored? And what does Matt do about the problem? All right, so those are three questions that are related to what you just read, right? The conversation between Rose and Matt. And please answer those questions, one, two, and three. And um, let me see something. You send it to me or not? I'm going to decide that right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. This will be this will be activity number one in class. Activity number one, unit three. Number one, unit three. Individual. individual work. All right, individual work.
Oh, by the way, um, let me see. Carlos, Alvin, Neftali, Glenda, Juan Jose, Carla, Thelma, Jennifer, Edwin, Iris, Fredis, Jackie, Doris, and Abigail. All right, thank you for doing yesterday's homework, okay? Thank you for okay, thank you. All right, thank you for doing it. Right, I have your names right here. This was the in class activity from yesterday. When you finish, you can just send it to me personally, okay? Remember, I'm going to remind you, the activities that we do in class, send them to me, not in the group, all right? Because we are not going to saturate. Vamos a saturar el grupo con todas estas actividades. So we will, um, please send them to me. Okay, Telma. Um, I just saw, I just read your answers. Okay. Acabo de leer sus respuestas de esta actividad. Excellent. Well done. All right. But those are correct. Just the only thing I can say there, Tenma, is just the little thing that you will have to add, okay? Two, two, ah, right? Two, ah, the last one, the number three, to a temporal, okay? No más ponga el two and, and that's it, right? But everything Thank else, you, teacher. no problem. Thank you. Emma Rolando. Okay, Rolando, 
Very good. That is correct. Okay, Blanca. Juan Jose. Está bien. Okay, Edwin. Okay, it is. Okay, um, Doris, can you take the picture again, please? It's really blurry. Please. Doris, Jarvin. Jackie. Okay, much better. Thank you, Doris. All right, Francisco. All right, Freddy's. Okay, Jarvin, I got yours also. Okay, let's continue. Two, four, six. Thelma, Rolando, Blanca, Juan Jose, Neftali, Edwin, Iris, Doris, Jarvin, Jackie, Francisco, and Freddy's. Those are the ones that have sent me the work right now. We will continue. All right. If you send it, please send it to me when you finish. All right. So I can write if you did the activity or not. Let's continue, but before we continue, I'm going to take the second attendance. All right, let me see. Abigail. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Present. All right, thank you. Brenda. Brenda, okay, not here. Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, Doris. Present. All right, thank you. Edwin. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, thank you. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you, Freddy. Glenda. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Iris. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Jackie. Present. All right. Jarvin, thank you. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla. Carla. Present. All right, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, not here. Neftali. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Rolando. Hello. All right, thank you. Let me see. Thelma. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Janari. Janari. Okay, not here. And Alvin. I know you're driving right now. All right, thank you, Alvin. Okay. One, two, three. Present teacher. Yes, I, uh, no problem. I'm, I know you're driving, so you're okay. All right. Let me see. Why do I have? One, two, all right, great. Okay, class, let me see this right here. All right, so we have here a building vocabulary. Okay, building vocabulary. Can you begin reading, please, mm, Jackie? Okay, teacher, building vocabulary, read the definition below and match the examples to the corresponding term. A letter A, warehouse management is the control of the day-to-day, day-to-day operations, operations of, the, of a warehouse, such as the shipping, receiving, put away, and picking of goods. Is, is it the same as a stock control? Letter B, stock control, is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right and warehouse management. It is a way to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of warehouse operations. All right, very good, Jackie. Maximize, maximize. Maximize. Very good. So thank you. Very good, good, good reading. Now we have warehouse management, que es el manejo, right? That is just the management of the warehouse. And then you have stock control. This is a way, this is a little bit more specific, right? It's a way to maximize profit, just like Rolando was mentioning about not having too much loss, right? That is what you have stock control. And warehouse management is just the operations. In and out, in and out, ship and receiving. That is the management of the movement, del movimiento, of the movement of the inventory. When you have stock control, it's just a way to make everything lighter, more profitable, right? For example, how can we, how can we send something, if we're going to ship it, how can we, how can we not have losses? I want you to think about this. If you're going to ship something, how are you going to make it, for example, cheaper, cheaper to ship? 
What do you think is the key element here? ¿Cuál es el elemento clave para disminuir el costo when we do shipping? Hmm. I think the quantity because I, I always ship well. I always import things. And when I bought more, uh, the the price of the of the I, I don't know how to say the shipment it's it's cheaper it's less because because it's it's a quality to the the quantity i think uh okay i don't se yeah. reparte i don't know how to say that yeah it, it, the more the more you the more you get the cheaper the shipping right yeah okay very good for example some sometimes you can have a a sale where they say okay if you buy three or more products the shipping is free a veces también, right? Shipping is free or a 20% or 30% discount, right? All right, that's good. Perfect. That is one. All right, esa es una. Can someone give me another one? Uh, I am thinking about um, construction or building. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Can you repeat okay. it, please? Um, I am thinking about construction or building some uh, of anything. Mm -hmm. And if I, I want to optimize the product, for example, when I plan in the cost of the product, I consider three use, for example, in the wood. Uh, when I plan in wood, I consider three use, but if I have um, to optimize the, the wood, I can have until five, six or more use. In this case, um, I have optimized the product and I have a, a more benefit. Okay, so you were talking about optimizing the product, right? Okay, to to acquire better benefits. All right, very good, Juan Jose. Anyone else would like to add something to this? What will be a way? And I think Juan Jose said said a good word here: optimize. How can I not have? losses when shipping what do you think is a good uh, what is the the fundamental aspect when we ship something como vamos a adquirir, adquirir no, menos costos how are we going to acquire less cost Increase, increase the volume. Okay, that's what uh, Blanca said, right? Increase the volume. All right. Increase the volume. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. All right. If you are, right, I'm going to give the option to ask for more opinions. Anyone else? Thank you, Doris. Anyone else? I'm looking for one specific, one specific element. Anyone? All right, it's so one of the things that we always try to do is um let me give you an example how many of you have traveled by plane can i have you have a problem yo me okay doris yes all right, all right. anyone else you. anyone me. else me okay abigail you have you, teacher. all right me teacher all right so we have a few here now when you fly right 
when you fly, y usted quiere traer cosas del otro, del otro país o Estados Unidos, wherever you go, right? Normally, when you buy a plane ticket, a usted le dicen un peso de la valija, right? Okay. Normally, it's 50 pounds, right? Normalmente, todavía se mantiene de 50 o va a pagar extra, right? Mm. So, when you pack your bag, usted empaca su maleja, sabe que no puede pasarse de 50 libras, right? You know you cannot pass 50 pounds. So, what do you do when you buy shoes? What do you do when you buy things? ¿Usted se viene con todo y la caja? No. No. Oh, no, right? No. ¿Por qué? Porque está reduciendo lo más posible el peso del producto. Remember that the weight, el peso es principal en todo shipping, right? In all shipping, all right? I'm balloon. Yes, or value, right? But we're talking about weight. Peso, the product. You always want to diminish the lowest possible way, el peso, the weight, right? That is very important. Remember that if you are driving a truck, los pesos también los, los pesan cuando uno pasa en aduanas and all that stuff, right? Especially in the United States. If they weigh, they say, how many pounds do you have of chicken, rice, and all these, ah, tantas, cincentas, tres mil libras, whatever, right? So they weigh, they pass through a weight detector. But when you go to DHL, ¿alguna vez ustedes han mandado algo por DHL o FedEx? Yeah. Me. Yes. Ah, ok. Yes. Se basan al peso también, right? Oh, yes. Yes, right. So if you're going to send something, the volume, the volume you, want, too. you want to send the least amount of weight. Right? No lo va a mandar con todo el paquete que ve, porque la caja quizás pesa más que la computadora, right? So, <laughs> so you want to maybe repackage. Muchos lugares hacen repackaging. Que hacen un packaging más livianito, right? So you pay less in shipping. Imagínense toda la gente que se dedica a mandar productos. ¿Cuánto se ahorra cada vez que hace un repackaging para hacerlo más liviano, right? And you don't put like a pack in a caja de cartón así de gruesa, right? That thick is stuffing and all kinds of stuff when you can just do something more efficient. So that is another way to, um, to become efficient with your uh, shipping, right? So you, you spend less also if you want to ship your product uh, to a third party. All right, let's continue. Um, which one of these... Can you read, please, uh, Doris? It? It tells you where the eaten items are in and the order in which they need to be picked. Okay. Picked. Pick. Picked. Mm. Picked. <coughs> Picked. Picked. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to help you on something, Doris. Right, and, and for those of you that want to see something, remember, ed in English, no existe la pronunciación ed okay. en los verbos, okay? It doesn't exist, all right? It's t, d, and id, nomás son tres, right? Y por si algunos dicen, hey, nunca me enseñaron esto, right? Or, no he escuchado yo esto. Los verbos nomás tienen tres sonidos al final. Only three. Only three. T, t, como la t. t. D, d, n. La última es id. Sí. Id. Ok. Sí. Por okay. ejemplo, por ejemplo, esta. Just are, no es, es wanted, id. Wanted, right? Wanted. Worked. Aquí tiene la T sound. Worked. Okay. Aquí tiene el id. Okay. Id. Al sonido al final. I'm talking about the last sound. Okay. Otra. Allowed. D. D. Allowed. Tiene no. la T sound. Okay. No existe eh, lo que es el pronunciamiento, el 
ed, allowed, no, allowed, worked, wanted. Okay, this is just to help, to help you in some uh, pronunciations. Okay, sé que no es el tema, pero para ayudarles. All right, y aquí les di ejemplos. All right. Now, if you want, si ustedes quieren y me dicen que jamás les han enseñado algo así, eh, yo tengo un, unas páginas que les puedo mandar con todos los verbos y el tipo de pronunciación que lleva al final. Si lo quieren, nomás me lo piden eh, a mí personalmente, I will send it to you. ¿Ok? All right. But remember, there are only three pronunciations in the English language when we use the verbs. Me estoy hablando al final, at the end. Cuando utilizamos el ED. All right, the ED sound. All right. All right, class, let's continue. Let me erase this. All right. Okay, continue, please, Doris. It means you know how many of a particular product you have in when to order more very good excellent thank you doris okay so which one will go here a or b what about which one goes where can someone tell me then we're going to do it here in class so you don't have to send it to me and number one is there b okay number one Letter B for me, and the second one is letter A. Okay. It means you know how many of a particular part you have and when you order more. Hmm. Okay. Anyone else? Thank you. I have a different. All right. I have it A number one and B number two. All right. Yes. Those are the the correct the correct answers, right? But Thank you for your participation. Right, this is A. Ah, yes, it got a too big. We go to 14. Ah. 24, yeah, that's better. All right, so you have A there, and then you have B here. I need to change the color. Right. So we have A and B, all right? So A tells you where the items are in and in the order in which they need to be picked, right? Remember, picked, right? Picked. En la orden que deben ser recogidas. So we're talking about warehouse management, right? And then B, a particular part you have and when to order more. This is a little bit more control. Remember I mentioned to you earlier about when a product goes low, when un producto se está bajando, you need to have a quick reaction to order more, right? Unless you have platforms that automatically do it for you. But the answer is A and B. All right, now, look at the next vocabulary. Let's look at these. Freddy's, can you continue, please? Yes. Okay, number one. Uh, can, can you read number five, please? Uh, building vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five, building vocabulary. The following are basic types of warehouses. Match the type of warehousing to its definition. Number one, holding warehouse. It can be named a terminal or short or shorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with a little with little to no storage. All right. Number two, distribution center. Traditional warehouse whose space is used to temporary and long-term storage. Number three, cross docking center. It serves a large region and goods are stored short time. Most of, most of it is used for picking and cons, cons, uh, consolidation. Consolidation orders. All right. So, we, these are it right here, and I want, I'm going to give you like maybe three minutes for you to figure out which are the correct ones. Do not send it to me. We're going to do it here in class, but I'm going to give you the opportunity to work individually and try to do for yourself 
what do you think the vocabulary and the and the statement of the definitions correlate to, right? So is this one one and this one one, or is this one one? I you think number one is number two. Hmm? I think number one is number two. Holding warehouse, I think is traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporary as long-term storage. Okay. Okay. That is correct. Right, it's a holding, it's a holding warehouse. Remember that this is different types of warehouse, right? You want me to continue answer or yeah. just wait? Go ahead, since you already have them, why not? Distribution center is number one. It can be named a terminal or shoring center that focuses only on receiving and shipping activities with a little, with, with little to no storage. Mm -hmm. That's it. Let me see. This is the last region of this first show time. Oh. Nope. What's the option? Here is just a nice question of this place. Cross docking center is a combination terminus of shoring center. Excuse me, yeah. officer, can you repeat it? Uh, number three, cross docking center mm -hmm. is number one. Yeah. I think that is a, um, it can be maybe a terminal or sorting centers. All right. You focus yeah. only on the saving All right. and shipping activities with limited to no storage. All right, very good. That is correct. And then distribution center will be this one, right? It serves yeah. larger regions, All right. Remember that distribution center, los centros de distribución, they serve for larger regions, all right? Sirven para las regiones más más amplias, all right? Más grandes. And those are distribution centers, right? And then cross docking, and we're talking about a sorting center. Un centro donde se, hay intercambio de, de, where you sort the products, all right? You sort the products and you focus on receiving it and shipping, all right? It has little to no storage, all right? Remember that cross docking is just a little bit more fast, right? Quick. Yeah, something quick, right? It's like, okay, va a estar aquí nomás por una hora mientras llega el guy y pum, para afuera, right? And they're not, they don't hold like overnight or for a week, right? Uh, those type of storages is not cross docking, right? Um, I didn't put attention at the last. Yeah, mostly holding warehouse would be long term. Holding warehouse where you can store like metal products, right? Or Como decir, el hierro, right? Que puede quedarse en cualquier parte and it just stays there, right? It doesn't really affect, right? Se puede oxidar un poquito, pero, ah, right? You just paint it. And does, nothing happens to it. Those are uh, long-term storage, right? Long-term, a largo plazo. It could stay there for a long time, right? And this one is more rapid, more fast. Now, hmm. You remember your 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 projects that you did? Which or, one? The PowerPoint. Yes, the PowerPoint, right? Now you can choose that, or you can choose make up a company, pueden inventar una empresa or whatever, and just decide. You know, I'm gonna say an empresa. You not? I don't want you to focus on a company. I just want you to focus on the product, okay? Only on the product, why? Because we're talking about warehouse, okay? So can you re please continue, Freddy? Okay, number six, your turn. In pairs, prepare a presentation describing the type of warehousing service, warehouse service that you will need to match the business strategies of your company. All right. So. Remember earlier, I mentioned to you that there was going to be an activity and I gave you like specifics at the beginning of the class. And I explained to you something extra that is not in the book. And then what we talked about in class, your opinions, those all come into play 
in this activity? Why or how? Well, first thing is, do not worry about a company, all right? Don't worry about a company. No se preocupen about a company, all right? Don't worry, I no voy a poner complete sentence. Don't worry company, all right? Um, to move quickly. Focus. On the product. On product, yes. On product. All right? Imagine your company. Pueden imaginarse su compañía. Imagine your company. Once you imagine your company, what type of warehouse would serve you better? So here's the question. What type of warehouse would serve you better, right? What type of warehouse or the bodega le va a servir usted mejor for your product, for the product that you have? Remember, we're focusing on product, right? For example, if I order 500 mm, no, 100, 100 2022 cars del 2022, de los que quería, right? 2022. ¿Qué tipo de warehousing voy a necesitar yo? Holding warehouse? ¿Por largo plazo? Would it be like, ah, oh, ese lo vamos a ver el otro año cuando salgamos de vacaciones, right? No. A distribution center? Or cross docking center? What do you think? Can it be a distribution, a distribution center. center? Okay, distribution center, right? All right. Exactly right. Porque it's going to a distribution, going like from the cars to to the place to the distribution center is coming to me, right? But what about um, like to what a house to? How do you say the paso? The what? The paso, o sea, que no va a permanecer mucho tiempo. Ay, right, that could be bodega. that could be cross docking. Eso es lo que tiene que ver con cross docking, Francisco. Ok. Right. Mm, but, eh, I have but, a little confusion. Eh, the cross docking center is for, it's like for the, for do the, the, the reprocess for the packing or no? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Now, it depends. It depends what you, what the product is, right? Now for cars, this will be better, probably a distribution center, right? Because it's a bigger product. But when you have small quantities, cross docking, eh, estamos hablando con, y quizás hasta lo mínimo un viajero, right? Que, boom, quick, yeah. right? Or those types of servers where it doesn't take much or a lot of space, y rápidamente pueden eh, ir con el producto, right? Um, yeah. Where they can sort it. Right? They can store like, for example, okay, eh, voy a hacer un viaje en cuatro horas, I public, uh, publicize it on Facebook, right? I'm going to a Huachapan in four hours. Does anyone need to send a product over $10, right? Example, right? If eh, no más de cinco, tres, cuatro libras, right? Four or five pounds, right? So Freddy call me, hey, Henry, how are you doing? You're going to Huachapan. Yeah, they que mande esto a, a mi tía, right? Or, yeah, me mandaron esto a Estados Unidos, quiero que lo mande, right? So different I'm sorting. Eso se le llama sorting. Mm -hmm. Que yo puedo ir y decir, ok, este es para Freddy, este es para Francisco. Eh, no puedo hacer eso cuando es un mundo es grande. The big yes. things, right? Yes. Right? So that is cross docking. Right? Mm -hmm. It's okay, faster. Okay. Yes, it's faster. The service is faster. But eh, eh, you can sort. You can sort. O sea que puede, <laughs> puede ver los diferentes productos sin hacer la gran cosa, right? Ah, ok. All right, so distribution center, it works on larger regions, right? And uh, it's still a uh, shorter time. That was an example that I gave you. Thank you, Francisco, for your question. All right. Thank you, Richard, for explaining. No problem. Now, what about you? What would be the best? And I'm going to put you in groups. 
I'm going to put you in groups. This is speaking activity, all right? No lo voy a hacer como presentation because I prefer for you to eh, que haga un cross docking ahorita. O sea, ya. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like right now, right? Cross docking image, uh, cross docking speaking, right? I'm going to use the same terminology. So what I want you to do is just think about it and elaborate with your classmates. Hey, if you, look, I have this product and I believe it will be beneficial for my company to use a holding warehouse, distribution center, or cross docking. And then explain why, right? Explain why. Explique por qué sería bueno esa producto. Right? For example, if I'm, eh, si traigo cemento, right? Para oh, una, the yeah, yeah, exactly. At a holding warehouse, right? Okay, we're going to make a new road that's going to take three years, right? Una carretera de aquí hasta Costa Rica, nueva, whatever, right? No voy a hacer a cross docking center, right? It's like, no, you can't move it. El cemento, woo, right? De aquí que terminemos, right? So you use a holding warehouse where you know it's going to stay there for a long time. ¿Ya vieron? All right. Now, I'm going to put you in groups and I want you to just talk. I want you to communicate. I want you to put to practice your knowledge skills pertaining to warehouse. Now, as every activity that I do in groups, who cannot do this activity right now? You can tell me, <laughs> there won't be any problems. Just... Teacher, I can no. Okay, Jennifer. All right. I can. You can't or you can? I can. Si puede? Yes. All right. No, I'm, I'm talking about who can't. Quien no puede? Teacher, in this moment, I, I can. can't do it. Okay. Blanca, you can't, right? Yeah. All right. Anyone else? Albin. Who? Albin. You wrote on the oh, chat. Yeah. It says, I cannot. All right, all right. Let me look at the chat real quick. I see. Uh, I can't. All right, I cannot. All right. Thank you, Alvin. I understand. Glenda, teacher. Who? Glenda. All right. Anyone else? So I can leave you out. Glenda. All right. No yes. problem. All right. Does everyone else can. So I'm going to put you in groups. Teacher, I can't right now. Jar Jarvin? All right. Yes, please. All right. So it's Blanca, Alvin, Glenda, and Jarvin. Uh, you will be with me in the main session, okay? All you have to do is just be there, and everyone else will do this activity. Let's see how many of you are here. Let's see. All right. Okay, Carlos. You will be with Edwin. Freddy's, you are going to be with Ah Glenda dijo que no. All right. Iris. Um Juan Jose, you're going to be with Roland. Rolando. Francisco, you are going to be with Jackie. Let me see. Carla, you are going to be with Thelma. And Doris. Are you going to be three? Alvin, Blanca, Glenda, Jordan. Jennifer or oh Jennifer dijo que sí. All right, so I'm going to change. I cannot put four. So I'm going to exchange. So move to uh, one. And I'm going to put Jennifer with Thelma and Carla. All right, are you ready? One, two, I'm going to give you like 10 minutes, all right? One, two, three, please enter breakout. Any questions before we go?
Any questions? We have to choose a product. We have to have the same product, right? Ah, you know, everyone individually. Cada uno de ustedes decida un producto and then you tell your classmates what will be the best product for your, uh, what will be the best service or the best warehouse for your product. And then, oh, okay. Freddy's, you give your, no van a hacer lo mismo, right? Ah, oh, okay. You're going to give your own opinions according to the product that you chose. Perfect. All right. So, Freddy's, you're going to have something different compared to, to Edie's, right? Okay. Okay. Any, uh, thank you. Good question. Anyone else? Anyone else? No quiero que vayan a hacer esto y después eh, no entiendan la actividad. Please, si me tienen preguntas, aquí estoy primero. All right, ask me. Everyone's clear? Teacher, clear? sorry. Teacher, sorry, I didn't understand very well. All right. So what you're going to do is, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to Select a product, right? So, un producto basándote en una compañía inventada, all right? And then you decide, based on the product, what warehousing would you prefer for that product? Like I gave the example earlier about cars, right? We mentioned that distribution center for cars, right? A warehouse dealing with distribution centers. And then you give your opinion, usted da su opinión, ¿por qué cree que es la mejor para su producto. And if I want cement, right, to build a road or metal, I can use holding warehouse because it's long term. It's a largo plazo, right? So I don't need a product que me esté llegando cada cinco horas, 50 bolsas de cement or 100 pounds of, of cement, right? Because it's going to be used for long term. So ahí depende del producto que usted seleccione, Carlos. Okay, teacher. All Thank right, you. But you decide the product. Usted el producto, and then you decide what will be the best warehouse for you, right? For you. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you for asking. Anyone else? Anyone else? All right. One, two, three. Breakout rooms, please. You have ten minutes. Teacher, sorry, send me there. Break a room, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is.
Okay, welcome back. I have a question. Um, did you see the presentation in your breakout rooms? Yes, teacher. Miraron la pantalla? Great. Right. Yes, teacher. All right, that is a new function. Es una nueva función de Zoom. All right. Yes, I, I, I was looking at that because I, I was um, asking me uh, who is sharing the screen. <laughs> yeah, it was me, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. like, uh, I saw it on, uh, como actualizamos la, la, la cuenta de Zoom, and it showed that, it showed that I was able to share screen a todos los breakout rooms. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, All right. that's nice. The only problem is que cuando hago eso, no puedo entrar. Ay, All right. it is a so <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, come on, Zoom, right? Todo eso, yeah. it, right? The... Improve in something. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And... yeah, so I cannot, <laughs> I cannot enter breakout rooms or share screen in breakout rooms while this function is being done, right? So, but uh, I wanted to try it. Lo quise tratar, and I was wondering if it worked. Si de verdad sirvió, right? There, there is one example that all things have uh, pros and cons. Con, all right. Contracts. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, uh, what about you, Rolando? Did you see the screen que estaba compartiendo? Yes? All yes, right. teacher. All right. It was a surprise for me. <laughs> yeah. So, if the only difference is if you usted está compartiendo pantalla, se la va a quitar. It's going to take it off and put the one that I put. Right. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a good too. But let me know if you if you like that. Uh, y así se evita que ustedes compartan la pantalla también, right? And I can I can. Huh? Why you were sharing? What was what was the thing that you were sharing? The presentation. I was sharing the I was sharing this. You only use a Zoom teacher. Yes. Not uh, use uh, Microsoft Team, for example. Mm, no, only only Zoom, because uh, Microsoft Never. Teams. I've used Microsoft Teams, right? Those are the ones that universities use. La mayoría de universidades, sistema educativo, usa uh, Microsoft Teams. But Microsoft Teams, a veces falla. All right, and because uh, it. Zoom is more, uh, well, you pay, se paga, right, para tener esta cuenta, and it's better, I believe it's better, and breakout rooms are better, right, como por ejemplo, Microsoft Teams, no se puede hacer esa función que acabo de hacer ahorita, right, you cannot do those functions, and, and um, certain things, for example, uh, breakout rooms. You can do breakout rooms, but it's not the same as uh, Zoom. It's not, I've used Microsoft Teams, but sometimes it jams, right? It jams, I don't know, but uh, the company doesn't use Microsoft Teams. They use uh, Zoom. So yeah, I, 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 use, I, uh, I use Microsoft Teams since um, 18, 18 months. Mm -hmm. And never failed for me. It never failed for you. No, no. Um, there are many applications. Uh, they have uh, um, many, many uh, tools. Yes. Very cool, and I think that is uh, excellent. Excellent. Yes. Uh, I, uh, Microsoft so. Teams is, is good. It's not. It's not a bad application. It's. It's really good. It's. I think it's one of the most used in the educational system. Right especially in universities, right? I know universities use it. I've used it. I have a Microsoft uh, Teams uh, account. Tengo una cuenta, right? I have an account with your with the email you use for Microsoft Teams. But um, Zoom is a little bit more, is a little bit more different. Um, they're similar, but, you know, I have to use what the company uses, right? I cannot change. Porque ellos tienen ya la cuenta de, Mac, de Zoom, right? But yes, uh, I've also used, uh, Juan Jose, I've also used WebEx. I've also used WebEx, 
Webex is pretty good also, right? And those different platforms, right? There's another one similar to Zoom, que es de India. Huh. But it's not, it's not the, uh, it's not the same though. Es así que una imitación de Zoom. <laughs> but Webex is a pay platform. Yeah, but I've, I've used Webex. Because we use that in, in my job. Yes, Webex is, uh, is very, I like Webex also, right? But I haven't used it a lot, but I've used it, right? I've used it. And I like Webex because when you access the recordings, when you access the recording, tiene como un listado ya, where you just click, right? And you click the reunion, it's a little bit different, right? But yes, they're, they're teacher, different. So, teacher, so it's better Zoom la, than, than Meet Teams. Okay, now, uh, you're talking about Microsoft Teams. Yes, yes, right. Microsoft Teams is better soon. It depends on what you're going to use it for. All right, ahí depende qué tipo de reuniones tiene la persona, right? But I've used, I've used all three of those, right? He usado esas tres, incluso otra, I can't remember the other one. I've used like four different types, four different types. Mm -hmm. In your case, what 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 would you prefer? On me, on my behalf, um, yes. I have I have I prefer uh, Zoom. Zoom. Yes, I prefer Zoom for me, right? Because I use Zoom for my personal students, my private students. I use Zoom also, and I just uh, I think it's I don't know, it's more. Uh, I like it better for me, right? But. You know, everybody has their different opinions and everybody has, uh, I like Webex also, right? I think Jennifer mentioned Webex. I like Webex and Webex is, mm, there's something different about it, right? But it's uh, it's nice also. I, I have a Microsoft Teams account also, right? Webex also and um, Zoom, right? and Zoom. I have my own Zoom. Let me see. I have my own, uh, yo pago for Zoom, pago 15 dólares mensual. Para mi cuenta, not this one, but my own personal. $14.99. $14.99, right. But maybe for these holidays, I stop. Y eso es fácil para cancelar. Nomás uno aprieta un botón y dice cancelar. Y ya, tú, sin tanta, right. What's the difference? The difference? Yeah. The difference is, I'm going to tell you the difference. La diferencia. Paid and not paid. Paid account eh, es ilimitado. If you use the free account, cada 40 minutos se corta. You have to restart oh. again. All right? So that's the difference, right? That's the difference. Now, if you do one-on-one, -on -one, uno a uno is unlimited. But if you have three people in the conference, ya desde ahí es for every 40 minutes, you have to reconnect, 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 a mismo link, right? So that's the difference. Right. Teacher, sorry, one question. And um, the price is the same for every person. I mean, uh, for example, a company. Ah uh, no, uh, no, the company is different. A company is different because remember that um, when you when a company gets it, it's different because a lot of people can use it. Mm. Okay, for example. If you're if you're if you have a company and you want to acquire Zoom, eh, no puede tiene que ser diferente tiene acceso a que diferentes personas tengan la misma cuenta para la compañía. For example, mm -hmm. el gerente de uh, what the inventory, the recursos humanos, they all have the same account paid for by the company and they can all use it sin ningún problema. But when you have your own personal account, nadie más puede utilizarlo. Oh. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. So if Got you it. all right, perfect. Okay, class. Thank and you. let me see. I'm going to do the final attendance. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, not here. No answer. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Uh, Brenda, Brenda, okay, not here, zero. 
Carlos? I'm here present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Doris? Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin? Present. All right, thank you. Francisco? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris? Present. All right, thank you. Jackie? Present. All right, thank you. Jarvin? Present. All right. Jennifer? Present. Thank you. Juan Jose? I am here. Okay, thank you. Carla? Present. Okay. Uh, Miguel? Miguel? Okay, not here. Zero. Nef Neftali? Neftali? Okay, not here. Um, Rolando? Hello, hello. All right, thank you. Thelma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Janari? Janari? She didn't connect. Zero. Uh, Alvin? Okay, I know you're driving present. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, class. Um, today is Miguel Stacy. He's not here. So everyone, good night. And I see you tomorrow. We will continue, okay? We'll continue tomorrow. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your participation. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Take care. All right. You too. Good night, everyone. Thanks, teacher. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.